Let's take a look at percent of a number, tax, discount, and tip. Emma is buying a package of bacon for $9.73. If she has a coupon below, how much will she pay for the bacon? And you can see that her coupon is for 45% off. Okay, well the first thing we want to do is figure out what is 45% of 93, right? That's going to tell us how much she's going to save. Okay, so to do this, we're gonna say, well, 45% of nine seven nine $9.73. I'm gonna start by writing my percentage as a decimal. So 45 is 45.0. To turn that into a decimal, I need to move my decimal point two places to the left. So 45% is the same thing as 0 0.045. Of is a keyword that tells us to multiply so I'm going to say 0 0.045 times $9.73 or 9.73. Okay, let's multiply that together. 0 0.45 times 9.73 gives us 4. Now, in this case, it gave us four decimal places. When I put that in my calculator, my answer looks like this. Four, three, seven, eight, five. But remember, we're talking about money. This should represent how many, how much she saved. We don't have anything smaller than a penny. So we need to round it to two decimal places because we're talking about money. So 4.3. Now for the seven, it's either gonna stay a seven or round up. To figure out which one, you look at the number next to it. Since eight is bigger than five, we're gonna round that seven up to an eight. So she's gonna save $4.38. Okay, now this is not our final answer. This is how much money she's going to save. The question is how much she's going to pay. Okay, well to figure that out, I would take the original price, right? The original price was $9.73. I'm gonna subtract how much she's saving, which is $4.38. And that should leave me with how much she needs to pay. Okay, so 9.73 minus 4.38 is $5.35. Now always check and see, does your answer make sense? So if the original price was 9.73, it was just a little less than $10. If she's saving 45%, that's just a little smaller than 50, right? 50 would be half. So she should pay just a little more than $5. That makes sense. Daniel is buying a pair of shoes worth $9.07 with the coupon below. How much will he pay? 20% off the original price. Okay, well first we wanna figure out how much he's saving with this 20% off coupon. So to do that, we're gonna say, okay, well what is 20% of $9.07? Because that's gonna tell us how much he is saving. All right, so just like before, I'm gonna set this up as a multiplication problem. To turn my percent into a decimal, I move my decimal point two places to the left, so that would be 0.20 or 0.2. Of is telling me to multiply, so I'm going to say times my $9.07. Okay, if we multiply that out, 0.2 times 9.07, okay, it gives me 1.814. But again, remember we're talking about money. So we need to round that to two decimal places. Okay, so that would be $1. And the one is gonna stay a one because four is smaller than five. So I'm gonna round that to $1.81. Okay, now this is not my final answer. This is how much he saves. 
right? He saves a dollar and 81 cents. The question is how much he's going to pay. So I still have one more step. I still need to subtract. Well, if the original price was $9 and seven cents and he's going to save a dollar 81, I should be able to subtract that to figure out how much he still has to pay. Well, 907 minus 181, that gives us $7.26. The sales tax rate is 5%. How much will Zoe pay for a set of headphones that cost $5.95? Okay, so we're gonna start by figuring out how much tax she has to pay, right? If the tax rate is 5%, we wanna know, well, what is 5% of $5.95 because that's how much tax is gonna be added on to her cost. Okay, so keep in mind, we're gonna move our decimal point two places. So one place would be in front of the five, I need to move it a second place. Since I don't have a number there, I'm gonna fill in a zero. So 5% is 0 0.05. We're gonna multiply that because of tells us to multiply, so 5% of $5.95. Okay, so you can use the multiplication dot, you can use the time symbol, whatever you like better. And we're gonna say 0.05 times 595. Okay, and that gives me 0 0.2975. Okay, so I need to round this to two decimal places because we're, ta because we're talking about money so the seven would round the nine up, making that a zero, which would round this up to a three. So we're gonna round that up to 30 cents. Okay, now keep in mind, in the last problems, it was a discount, so we subtracted it because the discount took away from the total price that you had to pay. In this case, it's a sales tax. So we're gonna add it because you have to pay the cost of the headphones which is $5.95, and you also have to pay sales tax, so that's gonna to add to the total cost by 30 cents. Okay, and then when we add 5.95 plus 30 cents, the total amount she's gonna to have to pay is $6.25. The sales tax rate is 5%. How much will a new satchel cost in total if the marked price is $9.68? Okay, well again, we're gonna have a few steps here. Our first step is to figure out how much tax we're gonna to have to pay. So we need to figure out, well, if the tax rate is 5%, what is 5% of the price of that satchel, which was $9.68? So just like we did in the last problem, we're gonna turn our percent into a decimal. To do that, we need to move it two decimal places. So that becomes 0 0.05. Make sure you're not just saying 0.5, that would be 50%. So 0 0.05 for 5%. We're gonna multiply that by the price, which was $9.68. So 0.05 times 9.68. Okay, and that gives me 0 0.48. Now keep in mind we're talking about money, so we can only go to two decimal places since the smallest money we have is a cent. So I'm gonna round this. The four after the eight tells us to leave it an eight. So that means our sales tax would be 48 cents. Okay, tax you have to pay in addition to the price of the item. So we're gonna add these together. The price of the item was $9.68 plus 6 we've got sale tax of 48 cents.
Okay, so let's add 968 plus 48, and that gives us $10.16. And you might have noticed this before when you buy items in the store, it always winds up being a little bit more at the register than what you saw on the tag because of sales tax. If the sales tax rate is 15%, Angela buys a toaster priced at $6.87. How much tax will she pay? Okay, well 15%, let's write that as a decimal. If I move my decimal point two places, 15% is 0.15. So we wanna figure out what's 0.15 or 15% of $6.87, right? That's gonna tell us how much tax she has to pay. Okay, so we're gonna set up our multiplication problem here. 0.15 times 687. Okay, and that comes out to be 1.0305. And again, for money, we always want to go to two decimal places. So that would be one dollar and three cents right the zero after that three tells us to leave it alone okay so she's paying six dollars and 87 cents for the toaster she also has to pay a dollar oh three for tax so we need to add those two things together to figure out the total amount she's going to pay 687 plus a dollar oh three Okay, so that's going to be $7.90. Okay, 